Hey YouTube and Facebook, it's Cal from the Irrigation and Lighting Doctor here. We're shooting another quick how to install low voltage landscape lighting video where we're going to show you uh, the best and most popular lights to use, the most energy efficient and long lasting bulbs, the easiest and most efficient way to place your lights, lay out your wire, make your wiring connections, what kind of waterproof long lasting connections you should be using as well as how to easily and effectively bury your wire so we love getting your comments and questions please leave them below and we will answer them as soon as we can thanks so much for watching hope you enjoy first step in installing landscape lighting is determining what kind of lights you're going to use up and accent lighting is the most popular commonly used for highlighting trees and different structures around their property wash lighting is great for lighting the exterior of homes and featuring and casting shadows on beautiful stonework around the property. Path and garden lighting also very popular for lighting pathways and gardens and different features around the property. And finally, hardscape lighting is another popular light commonly used around barbecue areas, fences, decks, steps, and so on. A great way to determine what's going to look good on your property is simply by taking a flashlight at night and going and highlighting and shining it on different features and structures around your landscape to see what's going to look great. Another tip or shortcut is to use a 9 volt battery. If you already have landscape lights, just hook the wires up to the terminals and you should be able to light those to see what looks great. When choosing your lights, something we recommend is using really high quality incandescent and halogen fixtures and retrofitting them with energy efficient LED technology bulbs that will not only save you money on power, uh, but will also last pretty much the life of your fixture so that you're not having to change bulbs on a yearly basis. Once you have your lights assembled, the next step is starting to place your lights. We recommend using a rubber mallet when you have a good ground stake and pounding that in to really get that light nice and stable so that it doesn't get knocked over or banged up down the road. Once you've got your light installed, the next step is going around and placing your wire at every fixture. Be sure to leave extra wire at every fixture just in case you need to make future changes. The next step is stripping your wire and getting it ready to wire. It can very easily be done using wire cutters or wire strippers and then wiring your fixtures using waterproof gel filled connections. This is very important because cheap connections will lead to all kinds of problems down the road. These are called BVS2 snap lock connectors or very easy to use. They're gel filled and hold the wires together nice and strong so that you're not having to repair wires on a year-to-year -year basis. Another good option is something called a DBRY connection. Also used if you have to tee off or splice into your wire, definitely use these. It comes in two parts, a marette that holds the wires tight and then a gel-filled tube to keep them waterproof. Please stay away from the do-it-yourself uh, wire connectors that you see at your Home Depots and Canadian tires that pierce the wire because when you pierce the wire there's just that much more chance that you're gonna have errors down the road. A question I get asked all the time is how do I know what size transformer to use? Very simply add up the wattage of all the lights on your project. If you're using a 5 watt light and you've got 10 of them that's a total of 50 watts. A general rule of thumb is to size your transformer 20% larger than what you actually need. So if you need 50 watts total, sizing it 20% larger, you would want to use a 60 watt transformer or larger. This is an example of a Kitchler transformer that comes with a photocell to turn your lights on and off with dusk and dawn, as well as a simple and very, to use, very easy to use timer. Once you've selected your transformer, the next step is hooking up and wiring all your lights to the transformer and you usually find two taps on the bottom one for a common connection and one for a 12 volt or 15 volt connection wire those in mount your transformer plug it into your gfci receptacle turn it on and you're good to go I just want to explain a little bit about the transformer so basically the brains of your system after you've placed your lights and you know what kind of lights you're going to use the next step is determining what size transformer you're going to use so uh, a real simple way to do this and if you're using a good quality light um, when you buy it it'll usually tell you how many watts that fixture is actually going to produce if not it'll usually tell you if you actually look on the bulb it'll tell you if it's 
four and a half watts, five and a half watts. Um, typically for LED, that's about as big as you're gonna get, but um, on, the, on the box, it should say how many watts if you're buying a good quality fixture. So, you know, on this project, we've got 10 lights. Each of these lights uses approximately four and a half watts. So 10 times four and a half is 45 watts. So we wanna size our transformer just slightly bigger than that. Um, the better quality light that you have, the less you gotta oversize your transformer if you're using a really uh, cheap, cheap light or a, a low quality light you probably want to give yourself a little bit more room because the lights can actually use more power than that might actually say with a good quality fixture you're pretty safe if you just oversize it a little bit so we're going to use a 60 watt transformer here from Kitchler uh, which is really simple to use it's got a small timer on it as well as a photo cell and you can see we basically just mounted it to the side of the house here uh, with a couple screws and once we get all our wire laid out we're going to wire those into here and then something we've done to kind of take it to the next level and make this Wi-Fi is we've added something called a uh, it's from Weon it's a outdoor Wi-Fi timer switch that uh, we use with a lot of our transformers as well as you can use it with Christmas lights or whatever and, and how we use this is basically we just plug this into the our GFCI receptacle and then we plug our transformer directly into that and then from there now we can run all our lights uh, from a simple mobile app from Weon, uh, and we do this a lot of the time. It just gives us that flexibility, and it's a cool way to, to add Wi-Fi to your system. So we've got our lights placed. We've got our transformer hooked up. Uh, all our wiring connections are done. Um, now we're just testing the lights. So we've uh, we've tested everything, turned on the transformer. All our lights work. I always recommend doing that before you go and start uh, finally burying everything. Um, but since that's all done, we know all our lights work. Last thing is we're just gonna bury all our extra wire and we're gonna place and set our lights. And if there's any final little adjustments to be done, we'll do those. I recommend coming back at night when you actually have the lights on and you can see how everything looks to come back and make any last minute adjustments uh, just to make sure that everything looks good. But once you've done that, that's pretty much it. Now your landscape lighting system is ready to go. Anything, I would strongly recommend making sure your lights work. Burying the wire is simple. In the grass, just create a small trench that you can easily push the wire down anywhere from six to eight inches deep and then easily just press that trench tight and within a couple days you won't even know. Now that you've learned how to install landscape lighting, we're going to show you what you get within your premium do-it-yourself kit. You're going to get 12 of the FX Luminaire LED uplights with easy drop-in bulbs and waterproof seal around every bulb to keep out the elements, 6-inch ground stake, 10-foot lead wire, and each light comes with a 10-year warranty. Easy to adjust, easy to use, super durable light. You're also going to find eight of the FX Luminaire path lights with 10 foot lead wire and eight inch ground stake for extra stability. Each light comes with a drop in LED bulb rated for over 30,000 hours. Each lamp has a waterproof seal around the bulb to keep out the elements and give it that 10 year warranty that we're looking for. To power your lights, you're going to get the Kitchler 120 watt power transformer. Easy to use, easy to plug into with photocell and timer. Along with all your lights, LED bulbs and transformer, you're also going to find inside each one of your kits your Weon Wi-Fi timer that you can plug your transformer into and give it full Wi-Fi capabilities. Each kit also comes with all your waterproof wiring connections as well as some tools that we've thrown in to help you make the job easier and 250 feet of low voltage direct burial wire. Now you should have all the tools and resources you need to install your very own landscape lighting system. Please be sure to shop all our do-it-yourself kits at lightingdoctor.ca and follow us on Facebook and YouTube for more great resources. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I just want to shoot this video explaining a little bit more of our do-it-yourself landscape lighting kits, why we've developed them, and how to go and install them. So, uh, after being a lighting contractor for the last several years, we've noticed that 
Um, you know, there's just, there's a lot of very poor quality landscape lights that are being sold and that are being installed out there. And we want to go and help change that. So, you know, obviously by hiring a, a professional contractor that can go do it for you and get their hands on good quality materials is a good start. I mean, just make sure it's done properly. Uh, there's nothing worse than when I see these different landscape companies who say they do lights and then they go put in these, you know, these lights they buy off the, off the shelves at your big box stores and within two years they're all busted and sad and broken looking. And I mean, you might have experienced this before. Um, that frustrates me. And it's also, it's just when people don't have access to the right materials and they're limited to where they can get stuff and what they can buy and they go and put it in their landscape and it's the same thing. It's just, it's sad and it's busted looking after only a couple years. So that's why we've developed these do-it-yourself kits because we understand that not everybody is going to pay the money or wants to pay the money to have a contractor come in, design a system and put it in for them and, and make it look great because it's not a cheap thing to do. But if you can go and save and cut that cost in half by doing it yourself, but we can still give you the premium quality products and materials to go and do it, then that's what we want to do. And understand that we don't manufacture any of the stuff that is within our kits. All we've done is we've just sourced out basically all the things that, that we use when we're installing lights, we're just offering those to you. So we've looked at a bunch of different manufacturers and we've just come up with the three or four lights that work best, that are economical and done some kind of clever things to help uh, marriage some some things together but keep that cost down so the first thing I look at is our you know our path light the path lights that we use and although we have literally hundreds if not thousands of options to choose from this is what we found works best it has a nice look and it lasts a long time it's super super durable easily the most durable that I've probably found out there so far there might be uh, other ones are ones that you prefer, but this is just what we found work and we put in 90% of the time. But what we've done with this is all the lights in our kits are LED, but instead of going and buying, there's two types of LED. There's an integrated fixture and then a, what they would call like a drop-in fixture. So an integrated fixture basically means that the LED board is built right in. And in most uh, LED integrated fixtures, once that board is gone, you can't replace it. You have to go replace the whole fixture. Um, with company FX Luminaire, where this light is from, uh, you actually can go replace that board. But those integrated fixtures are very, very expensive. So what we've done is we've taken the same fixture, but in their incandescent lineup, and all we've done is we've just popped out the cheap $2 incandescent bulb, and we've replaced it with an extremely good quality LED drop-in bulb that's going to last you for 50,000 hours plus so 10 15 years before you ever have to change it and it's super easy to change it when you do so that's why we've chosen that because now we get the best quality fixture the best quality light marry those two together but we keep that cost way down at probably half of what you pay for that integrated fixture the reason that we choose this fixture too and do that is a lot of times we'll get the comment wall those aren't going to last as long the sockets are going to get worn and agreed with most fixtures it probably will the reason we choose this one is if you can see that orange ring around here all these fixtures have a rubber o-ring that seals very tightly down on that fixture and on that bulb so that water and the elements can't get in that's why these last so long not only are they have a durable durable stem that's another big component of them that's why we choose these for the path lights in all our kits. The next light we look at is, you know, a typical bullet light, up light, accent light, bunch of different names. This one again is from FX Luminaire. What you'll find in your kits, we usually stick to like a flat black, so very similar to the path light. Um, but we use these again because super, super high quality. If you could feel this, the weight, um, it's probably heavier and more durable than anything else I found out there. It's slick, it's simple to use. Yes, is there nicer looking fixtures out there? Absolutely, but again, they're double the price and you're not supposed to see the fixture anyway, you're supposed to see the effect that it produces. So I just want something simple and basic that's gonna give me that effect. Um, again, all we've done is we've taken a fixture, probably their most popular one from FX Luminaire. It's an incandescent fixture, but we've gone and retrofitted it to LED because we get the best fixture and we we marry it with take out the halogen fixture and marry it with a really high quality LED drop-in bulb and now we've just created a super high quality 
LED fixture, again, at a fraction of the cost of what an integrated fixture would look like. So that's your uh, path light that you're gonna find within your kits. Again, you'll see that rubber ring totally keeps the elements out and totally keeps it water sealed and it makes it nice and tight so that doesn't come off. The reason I like these two is you don't have a bunch of little tiny minuscule screws for all the adjustments. You just have one screw to adjust the angle and that's it. So once you got your fixtures, we use in all our kits, we use really high quality, low voltage direct burial wire. You can get wire anywhere. There is a difference. I'm not going to get into all that, but get something that that's going to last. Get something that's from a, a professional manufacturer because they're no, they know they're not going to sell you cheap stuff and not that the other stuff won't work. It's fine as long as it works, but if you ever have to go make a repair down the road, that's where it's a pain in the butt. I'm just telling you from experience. All our connections that we use inside of our do-it-yourself kits are all uh, watertight, gel-filled, snap-tight connectors that keep the wires from coming apart, that keep the wires out because there's nothing worse than having um, you know, broken connections down the line and that your lights don't work and you can't figure out why and then you have to bring somebody in to figure that out. That's why we give you the best snap-lock connectors that we can find. They're all gel-filled to keep out the elements. Then finally, you know, we look at getting into our transformer. We just use a simple transformer from Kitchler. So again, we don't manufacture any of these. We just go and we mishmash and marry a bunch of marry together a bunch of different brands to give you what we find is some of the best quality stuff at some of the most economical pricing. Now, is this the best uh, transformer on the market? No, absolutely not. Economically, uh, dollar for dollar, I would venture to say there's probably nothing that will compare to this for the price you pay for this and everything that it can do and everything uh, that it has on it for us it is well well worth the money for the little bit of quality you might uh, you might pull back you you the value in it is still all there the reason we like it it has a photo cell already built into it it has a timer already built into it you can go buy um, a lot bigger more expensive transformer but then you've got to add a photo cell timer all that kind of stuff it's all in there already 60 and 120 watt depending on the um, kit that you're buying so a 60 watt will easily run 10 to 12 lights uh, 120 watt transformer will easily run you know roughly 20 to 24 LED lights that's why we use it because it's more than sufficient for anything that we're gonna put in our kits but we've taken this a step further so everything that I mentioned to you is what you actually pay for in your kits um, but then what we throw in there is where a lot of the extra value. So we're going to throw in a bunch of extra tools for you. We're going to throw in a nice rubber mallet that you can pound those ground stakes into the ground nice and sturdy so that in two years, they're not sad looking fixtures that are tilting over. You're going to get your wire cutters. We're throwing in the extra connectors so that if you need to make a T, I always get that question is, well, what if I need to T off uh, a light somewhere? Can I do that? <coughs> Absolutely. You just cut the line. We're going to give you the gel filled connectors to do that so that you can properly tee off that line. Just remember where you've made that splice and, and put some kind of hub or something around it. So if you ever had to get into it, you can, but we're going to throw that in there just as an added value. You get the complete height, how to guide as well as all the resources that you're going to find online on how to install. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you a quick three minute video, on how to install this exact system that I'm talking about. But then I think that one of the bigger, uh, advantages that we're throwing in that is super cool is we're going to make your whole lighting system uh, Wi-Fi compatible so that you can operate it from anywhere in the world. Now, there's all kinds of Wi-Fi systems that you can use with this stuff, but it's extremely, extremely expensive to do that. This is a simple, easy way to do it with, if you can see it's from Weon, it is their Wi-Fi outdoor timer. And basically, all you do is you plug this end into your GFCI receptacle and then you plug your transformer into the bottom of here. Download the Weon app, follow three simple steps to connect this to the cloud and your network and you're good to go. And then from there you can turn your lights on and off anywhere in the world but then also it's got all the timer functions built in so you can set it by by time, you can set it by astrological timing. So if you want it to go off with sunset and sunrise, it can do that. It's got all kinds of different timers in it. Super cool, super economical. The other reason I like it, you'll notice there's two plugins at the bottom there. You can plug your Christmas lights into this as well, and you can operate those the same way 
you would operate anything else. So wherever you are in the world, you can turn them on or off, you can set them on timers, all that. And we're throwing that in for free. And then probably the biggest value is uh, we're gonna help you design your system, right? If you're looking at buying these kits, I understand they're, they're not cheap because this is a premium quality product. I've got no interest in selling you cheap crap and making some money. I just, I wanna give you the best of the best at the same stuff that we use, but I wanna show you how to do it properly. So you're also gonna get a free online consultation. And what is that? It's basically send me an email, send me pictures of your property and what it looks like and ideas that you are thinking for lights and we're gonna help you figure out what's gonna be the best use of them. Because a lot of times what you'll find is maybe you don't need as many lights as you initially thought while well, we've done enough projects that usually we can tell if you think you need 20 lights and we tell you you can do it in 16 or 15, I mean, that saves you money. So send us uh, an email, get that free online consultation before you even buy a, buy a lighting kit, make sure it's for you. But as for quality, as for value, um, and I'll be honest, you can find the lights in these kits anywhere online. Um, our prices are pretty good. If you're watching this from the US, remember, prices listed on our website are Canadian. So with a dollar right now, you're getting a smoking deal. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. We're going to ship these to you, free shipping. So I mean, there's tons of value in these kits. And I understand that they're not cheap, but with all the extra value, and how long they're gonna last and how good they're gonna look. Um, I w we wouldn't put them together if we didn't feel that that was the case. So hopefully that helped. Please watch this short video just shortly after this to show you how to install landscape lighting. And I hope to talk to you soon. I hope to get an email from you real soon to see what your property looks like so we can help you design a landscape lighting system.